Good afternoon, Andy Jacob here with Dotcom Magazine. And today's guest is a very special guest. Laura Duffy with Laura Duffy Design is joining us for a conversation about design. Now, I've been to her website. I've actually looked at some of the designs that she's put together for her clients and they're quite impressive. So I wanted to invite Laura on the show today to talk a little bit about her conceptual framework for design for her clients and, and how she works because she really produces some wonderful designs and I wanted to get inside of her head a little bit today. So Laura, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for having me. This is You're great. welcome. And I'm doing very, very well. Laura, obviously anyone going to your website or who knows your work knows that you're able to put together some wonderful designs for your client. But let's clients, but let's pull the lens back to maybe 30,000 feet at a high level and tell us a little bit about how you got started in this and what has drawn you to build this design company. Okay, well, let's not go back too far. We don't have too much time, but um, I started out, um, you know, I was always an artist. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fine artist and I'm a graphic designer and uh, I ended up in publishing kind of by accident. And then I spent a great deal of time working in the world of publishing. Um, and that was a great experience. And then when I left that world, I just hit the ground running and it just kind of came. I started to, um, you know, work on all kinds of, of covers with a whole variety of people, mostly people who were self-publishing. And that was, that was interesting. I kind of just fell into this world just to the right place at the right time um, with people who were doing their own thing. And I got to meet a lot of interesting people. Um, and then I decided to kind of kick it up a notch instead of just being a freelancer, uh, trying to really shape myself into being an entrepreneur or, you know, having my own business, kind of framing myself in that way. Whenever I was networking, I would present myself as a business owner. Um, and therefore, I felt like I needed to really flesh out what I did, my offerings. And I, and I spent a few years trying, you know, dabbling in what I wanted to do, what I should be doing, what I enjoyed. And I feel, you know, web design, logo design. Um, and uh, I feel like I've, I've, I've really found my niche in a lot of different ways of what I, what I enjoy, what I, what I don't want to do. Um, so, yeah, that, and here I am seven years later. So. So, so that's excellent. So this is, this is a great story for entrepreneurs that are watching the show and watching this interview with Laura. Laura has a passion and she was able to develop that passion into something that uh, has become a very, very nice business for her by following her passion and her expertise in design. So was design something for you when you were a young child that sort of came easily to you? Or is that something that was developed throughout the years? Well, I think a little bit of both. It's interesting. Um, when I was a child, I painted a lot and I also read a lot. And um, there's a, I have a painting somewhere that I did with a book cover in mind, having no sense that I would end up working on book covers. And it was just, I think it was, a, uh, I don't know, it was a horror story. And I always think back to that, you know, all the little things that I did, like, cutting out things that, you know, now it's similar to working in Photoshop. And maybe I had a sense of, I mean, it was a different time. I mean, you know, computers, Photoshop didn't even exist. And here I am working, you know, living and breathing in Photoshop and, and, and all these other things. And um, it, it's really, uh, you know, I, it definitely was planted. Yeah. When I was younger, um, I, I started out moving towards advertising. So I kind of, um, like I said, I fell into publishing by accident and because I love to read, it was just a really good fit for me. It was just a real, real joy. And it still is. I get paid to read and it's amazing. I still can't believe it. So I feel very, very fortunate. So that's yeah. awesome. So, you know, so you're an artist at heart. It's, it's, it's apparent from, from hearing your story and working on book covers and things, even as a young child. How hard is it for an artist whose soul is an artist to, to kind of cross over and become the entrepreneur that you've become? Is that, was that a difficult crossover for you? 
Um, no, because I always kind of had this, I, I call it the hustle. I, I always had it in me and I always, you know, aside from being a graphic designer, I was always into when, before I even realized what I was doing, I was always into the branding or the, the business ideas. I, I love nothing more than just to sit around and come up with, with business ideas and how are you going to do that? And what are you going to, you know, let's take it to the next level. And, um, and so I was fortunate, you know, when I, when I was working in Random House, I had this idea of boutiques and I did work in little, little groups outside of that. I did some work with people and now that's exactly what we're doing where I'll be working with um, an editor, a copy editor, uh, you know, all these different people who, you know, we put ourselves together and we kind of create this for whatever project we're working on. We're in this little boutique of a, a bubble kind of, and then we, we, we get the job done. Um, and so I think for me personally, it was, uh, it was, it was exciting to, to, and I think that's why I wanted to shape myself into more of an entrepreneur. And I, and I read a lot about that and how to build myself and how to market myself. And, um, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be able to, to design a website. So I change my website every, every month or two. And it's just, you know, uh, it's just keeps evolving. I just try to keep evolving, try to make sure I stay up to date and, and, um, yeah, current. So yeah, I like all of that stuff. So that's awesome. So for our younger entrepreneurs that may be watching the show or for the people that are aspiring to open their own company that have a passion within themselves regarding a certain type of discipline, like in this example with Laura art, um, or the artist inside of her. This is an important thing to think about because you have to continually move forward and continually yeah. get better at your craft. Yes. That's what you're saying. Yes. You you especially now you have to make sure that you're that you know I I I've been I dip into in one day I could be dipping into so many different programs just so that I know what somebody's talking about. I might be working with somebody who's working in that program. Um, but there, there is a lot to know. And it, and it definitely, you know, you just can't rest on your laurels. Even design wise, I try to always make sure that, that I'm, that my design is, is the best that it can possibly be. I'm always looking for at other, at other designers through magazines. I get a lot of inspiration from uh, business magazines. Um, you know, I love looking at illustrations and, and conceptual art. Um, uh, and it, it's just important and it, and it, it's, I'm, I'm glad for that, but I think that um, it is important for, especially graphic designers. I think that a lot of them have a tendency to just look at themselves as for feel like freelancers. And I think that we should, it's more than just a freelancer. You know, you have to think of who, you know, who your clients are, what, who do you want to work with? Um, there's a lot that you can, that you should be thinking about um, if you really want to grow your business and earn a living, period, earn a living. So. so that makes a lot of sense. And and obviously anyone can go on your website and take a look at your designs. You've done book covers and websites and you've got something that caught my attention that I really thought was super cool on your website. They're called window clings. And, oh, right. <laughs> and you did uh, a window cling for some super cool restaurant in New York. And I looked at it and I never had seen that before. Tell us about that because that was, that was super cool on your website. Well, you know, it's so funny because I just added it because in terms of design, it's kind of like, oh, it's okay. But it was an exciting project. I, I, before all of this happened, I was doing a lot of work with stout restaurants and doing their menus and doing a lot of fun things. I'm kind of sad that that ended but one of the things that they asked me to do for this new location on 49th Street and right by Bryant Park was um, to create these window clings to cover up the construction. Now, I, I'm going to just honestly say I'd never done this before, but I acted like, oh, yeah, I've done this before. Yeah, sure. And I, and I figured out how to do it. And it really wasn't, you know, it was a lesson because I thought, oh, my goodness. But it was the same thing that I've done in many different ways, except it was bigger. Um, and it was very exciting to see it in it, you know, out there big. And I, and I checked it out and I took pictures and stuff and it was just a lot of fun. And it, and it, and it was a, it was a really wonderful challenge and it stretched me and I did it. And I worked with the printer who was very patient and, you know, you put together, you know, you just find people within the process who can help you and guide you. And, 
and that's what I did. And Stout, you know, they were they were great, and uh, so that was a pretty cool project. So that's so. a great thing that Laura did was she she believed she could do something. She knew she had the experience to do it. She took the project on and she made sure she took it to completion. And that's really the sign of a great entrepreneur. Sometimes you have to go out of your comfort zone, which you did. Yeah. And you have to go, I think to stay, you really do have to go out of your comfort zone, no matter what you're doing. Otherwise you're just going to be stagnant. So I agree. So let's yeah. talk about your clients. People hire, hire you for many different types of design projects, Laura. You do book covers and uh, websites. What what are some of the things that uh, the Laura Duffy Design Agency is able to help clients with at this point in time? Um, well, well, pretty much anything to get your business going. I mean, that's the that's the beautiful thing about my life right now is that I'm working with people who are growing their businesses. So it's pretty exciting, and I share a lot of my experience. I mean, my experience does come. Not only are we talking about the design, but you know. Uh, there's a whole, there's almost a little bit of coaching that goes into it. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, so a lot of the businesses that I work with, I worked with an in, with interior designers, with a lot of coaches, um, and and a lot of the authors who I work with are, you know, aside from the the memoirs and the and the, but you know, they're writing books that are are for their businesses to grow their businesses. So I might start me, I might meet somebody initially because they're an author and then they need a website and then they need business cards and then they, or they need promotional material or one sheets or their, or media sheets. I mean, it can go and I, and, and we build a relationship and it's exciting, you know, to, Oh, I, I have an event and I need something and let's do this. Let's do this now. Um, so that's just a really and I get to see, I get to see so many different things that people are doing. And then I'll say, well, my client over here is doing this and Why don't we do this? And again, somebody will come to me and ask me to do something. Perhaps I've never done it before. And then I'll be able to offer that to somebody else. And they didn't even know that that existed. And then I'm, well, let's do this. And, and I work quickly. Um, you know, I come from an environment, my past is, you know, working fast and lots, lots of projects doing it quickly. And I think that that really helps. It lends itself to, you know, when people have tight deadlines and stuff like that. Um, so, um, yeah, and, it, and it's just this different, so many different types of clients. And, and, and I, and I really enjoy that aspect of being a business owner. You never know who's going to walk in the front door. So it's, it's really interesting. So that is really awesome. And what Laura has been able to do is not only be an expert designer for her clients, but she also takes the approach that she's also becoming their friend because she really looks out for her clients, not only for the first project, but as the projects evolve. Now, Laura mentioned a little bit about her, her experience and her background, and it is quite impressive. Maybe you could just share a little bit with our viewers uh, what your background is, because I think it's very impressive to the point that people will understand why you've been able to build your own business from the background and experience that you have. Well, I was an art director at Random House and um, until 2012, um, you know, the publishing industry just got, got crazy and I hung on for a while. And then in two, 2012, we, we parted company. Um, but definitely, you know, the, the, what I learned there, you know, aside from really having to be the best designer you can be, I mean, it's unacceptable. You, you know, every, every moment you have to make sure that you're at the top of your game. Um, but you're also meeting with others who are at the top of their game and you're meeting, you know, you're having jacket meetings and you're having concept meetings, you're meeting with editors. We, we were working with authors you know, just, just celebrities and stuff who, who, you know, there was just so much that, that went into the packaging of these books. And um, I'll say to people, that's exactly what I bring to the table now. And that's what any other designer who either is working at a, at a house now or comes from a house will offer you. They'll, they have that broader picture of how a book, it's not just the design, but it's the package, how a book should be packaged. And, um, and that's really important. And, and all the, 
the, the endless discussions, the long meetings that we sat through, the crowds of people that would come to a jacket meeting because that was, you know, they really loved being a part of that process. And I enjoyed that challenge. I was known as somebody who, uh, if, if, we, if there was a particular project where we were, that was, that was having, nobody could really crack it, I would come along for some reason and I would just be able to, 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 to put something together and nail it. And I, took, and I took great pride in that. It was really satisfying. It was fun. It was every, every it was an achievement each time. Um, and I still keep in touch with a lot of the people that I work with. Right now I'm working on a project with an editor from Random House and, and, and the interior designer from Random House. And that's what I, you know, it still goes on. And, and we're all still, you know, just people are really impressed and they appreciate it. They see the difference between when you hire somebody from say, 99 designs or someplace where you can get a, a cover for five or a logo, you know, you, they, they're beginning to see the difference. And, and, and there, are, there are a few people out there who have this to offer, you know, this, this, uh, you know, um, these skills and the discipline and, and all of that. So, so yeah. quality always shines through. So when you hire Laura, what you really get is a random house type experience, but more one-on-one <laughs> -on -one right. using all of her background and experience being at one of the you know, largest companies in the world for, for the expertise that they provide. So, so Laura, right now, what, what's your favorite type of design work to do for your clients? Is there one area where most people are reaching out to you to say, hey, Laura, you know, I know you're an expert in this one particular thing. I really need some help with this. And you're able to provide, you know, the, the outstanding personalized experience that we're talking about on this interview. Well, as much as I love to do all kinds of design, you know, and I really you know, there's nothing better than adding, you know, a really great logo to my portfolio or another website. The, the book covers are where, you know, what I'm known for. And when I, when things slowed down right at the beginning of the lockdown, um, and I was just getting every, I said, you know, I really miss doing book covers. I miss it. I was putting together my, you know, cleaning up my website and, and I thought, ah, and then lo and behold, this always happens. They, people started to get themselves together and, and give me a call, either finishing up the projects that we'd started before this, or, you know, now's the time to write your book. And I did do an ad on uh, where it's, you know, at the very beginning, now's the time to, to finish that book you always wanted to write. And so I feel, I feel even more grateful that, um, that I'm working on covers and, and the best kind of, the best kind of client for me, you know, even with websites, I love the opportunity to do something different with websites. I know people like to stay, play it safe and, and, you know, do a traditional website, but when somebody comes to me, with, for anything, a logo, a website, a book cover, and says, you know, I really want something different. Let's do this. And I get really excited. Um, let's just really push this out of the box. It, it is, it's something that I'll be proud to put on my website. It's, it's just, um, and so, so that's what I really, uh, you know, I was missing when things quieted down and now it's picking up and I don't know, you know, it's just the energy is starting to, you know, really pick up and, and I'm, I'm not that I ever took it for granted, but I'm really very appreciative of it now. So, yeah. Wonderful. And, and just, you know, getting up and waking up in the morning, you know, we're all very appreciative now. So I totally understand yeah. that. So when we're talking about the book covers, Laura, we're not just talking about someone that is going to publish their book, you know, and sell the physical copy. We're talking about digital books as well and white papers and everything else that goes along with putting yourself out there in a professional way. Those are the types of things that you can help people with. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. And then with yeah. that, you, they probably need a logo and a lot of other things to go with that. So you can provide a complete design package yeah. to people in a meaningful way that they can get the professional top level random house type experience, but working with you personally uh, one on one. Right. And, and so, yeah, so I can do, you know, the, the logos, a lot of social media headers, um, and all of that book, you know, bookmarks, any kind of promotional material. That's what I've done. Um, but the other thing that I also, um, offer to a lot of people when they come to me, uh, who are self-publishing, they have no idea 
about the pub, the self-publishing process. And everybody thinks they're the only ones and I'm a newbie and da, da, da. And I say, no, you, everybody comes to me like, a, you know, they're at the beginning and I help them as much as I can throughout their, that process. I'll, I'll explain to them, you know, what they needed, what they need to be doing. Are they going to be considering um, advanced readers copy? What kind of promotion are they going to be doing? So, you know, so-and-so is going to be interested if you're trying to get into a, if you're trying to, if your goal is to work with a large publisher, they're going to be interested in the publicity and, and marketing and, and perhaps the blogging that you've already been doing. Um, and, and I get them thinking about things. Sometimes it's overwhelming to them. They're like, oh my goodness. But I give them homework. They have to come back and, and then we put it into place. And, um, and, I, and I prep them through the, the final stages when things kind of get complicated. Um, so I'm, I'm learning that that does set me apart from a lot of other designers. The fact that I read their manuscript apparently sets me apart. Um, but it's just something that's evolved because I'm at the, I'm kind of like the hub. I see, I see so many behind the scenes things that it's, it's very interesting. And, and, uh, and I also, I, I bring that to my business, what not to do, what to do. Um, but I think that people find that very helpful. You know, Laura, I think you just nailed Nailed it. I think you just hit it right on the head. When people work with Laura, if you're thinking about, just for example, one aspect of her business are, are the book covers and the design. Not only do you get a designer, but you get someone that understands the complete process of what to do once you design the book. And she actually reads yeah. the book yeah. and she's integrated into your, your book. So this is something, and I've talked to a lot of uh, designers, I haven't heard this sort of angle before where not only am I designing or hiring a designer, but I'm also getting all the expertise behind the design of the book itself. Yeah. And this is phenomenal. So why would anybody just go to a regular designer if they want a book cover design? Wouldn't you want to go to the person that has all of the chops behind the book publishing itself. And that's what you're saying, right? Yeah. And I have my, I'm realizing as you're saying this, that I've got my foot in the, in the, in the brick and mortar experience, you know, that, that, and then, the, and then this experience. So I have, I'm putting them all together as I've gone along, I've put it all together. And I really do think that, that that is something that people do appreciate. I mean, I've gotten clients who've, who've, you know, had covers prepared in other places and they're not happy and they've had a terrible experience. Uh, and then they come to me and they realize, wow, th this was a whole different experience that you, you need to work with, with a designer. Uh, you need to develop that relationship. Um, you need a little hold, hand holding. Um, so yeah, it is, it is something that people are surprised when they, when they realize that and they just think, oh my God, this was so much better than before. So and that, that makes me feel good. So. Well, that's awesome. Laura, I have two books myself that I'm working on right now. So I know who my go-to girl is going to be. <laughs> Thanks. That's great. That, that is really awesome. Well, I'm glad we were able to nail down that sort of aspect of your expertise. And for anybody watching this, that wants to reach out to you, Laura, there's a couple ways to get a hold of you. And I want to, you know, have you uh, tell us or tell our viewers how they can get a hold of you. But I want you to know, it's a delight speaking to you. I love the idea that you took your passion, you took your experience at Random House, and then you've developed your own business as a true entrepreneur that specializes in helping people and helping companies move forward in their business by providing them your insight and background and experience and your creative design expertise to move them in the right direction. So that's awesome and congratulations for that. Thank you. Thanks. How do customers or potential people, potential customers who are watching this, how do they get a hold of you, Laura, and uh, share with them uh, how you would like for them to communicate with you? Well, you could start by checking out my website, uh, lauraduffydesign.com. Um, and you can, uh, you know, look through my stuff, make sure that, that, that I'm the right fit, that, you, that I'm somebody that you'd want to work with. And then you can contact me. My email address is, uh, <laughs> I'm forgetting my email address, laura at lauraduffydesign.com. And I prefer email. 
you never, you know, when somebody calls me, I never know where I'm going to be. Um, so, and, and I don't, uh, I, yeah, email is the best way to go. And then we could, and I have, uh, I offer complimentary consultations and I love speaking with people again, making sure we're the right fit. Um, I understand that people have uh, budgets in mind and, and we have to figure that out. We have to make sure that that's, that's an appropriate fit. Um, and, uh, you know, people, and I'm happy to answer any questions, you know, even if, if it, the decision is made to work with somebody else, oftentimes I will guide people on how they can find a, a designer that's appropriate for them. And I do give the same advice that there are lots of people like myself who have a background in, in the corporate world. And I would suggest working with them because they have the, they have what it takes to really follow through in a job and, and, uh, um, you know, you have to admire them for their past as well. And, and, you know, it was from the publishing world and it was a rocky, a rocky place. So we were kind of set out, it let go into the world. And, uh, you know, while we were still all still very talented people. So. Well, with Lori, you get the, the corporate publishing expertise combined with the personal one-on-one -on -one approach, which is a wonderful wonderful thing for many entrepreneurs who are seeking out this type of help. Laura, I want to thank you so much goodness, for coming you. on the show today. Thank you, you are wonderful and I love what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. It was fun. Thanks. Yeah.